And now for that time of the year when turkeys are traditionally served. Kids have known for a long time that Thanksgiving and turkeys go together. Well, the truth of the matter is, there just won't be any turkey this year. No turkey for Thanksgiving? But if your kid asks you, where do turkeys come from? Well, rather than having to awkwardly explain how a live turkey ends up cooked on your table, you could just say, probably North Carolina. Most of America's turkeys come from six states. Of them, North Carolina is number two. But we used to be number one. In fact, we achieved peak turkey in 1992 with 62 million turkeys. The numbers have gone down since then. Minnesota's beating us now. The reason? Turkeys are getting bigger, so you don't need to raise as many to get the meat. Farmer Brown keeps a large flock of younger turkeys and feeds them well, so they will grow large for Thanksgiving dinners. And when it comes to pounds of turkey meat produced, North Carolina, still number one. We produced 1.2 billion pounds of it last year. As you can see here. North Carolina also leads the country in sweet potato production. There's nobody even close. We went ahead of Louisiana in 1971, and we haven't given up the title for 42 years. The number one county for turkey and sweet potato production in North Carolina, Sampson County. It's here, if you're curious. It's news, real food news. And now that people are eating more turkey than ever, that holiday bird has become your turkey any day in the week. Farmers in North Carolina, have a lot to be thankful for. Jeremy Markovich, NBC Charlotte. Monday, June or January, dinner or snack.